Hi friends, uh, so uh, this is the lecture number 11. My request to everyone that please before coming in this lecture you must go in the previous lecture because all the lectures these are linked related to each other. So today we will discuss on the rank of correlation. Already we have discussed, we have given you the best knowledge uh, about the correlation, what is the correlation and what is the usage in our real life. Okay, we are using the research holder. Okay, all the research holder they are using and also the marketing. They are also using the correlation. So <coughs> these lectures are very important uh, for the PhD holder, for the research holder, for the MBA, for BBA, for marketing, <coughs> for beta holder, for MCA, all, all department. Okay. So you know that in the previous lecture we were talking about if you have two data okay and after that you are just comparing you are just comparing means you are finding the relationship between two uh, uh, two, uh, two data suppose I, I, I will give you an example suppose you are finding the relationship between boys and girls okay according to their habits or characteristic or feature physical anything okay so you are finding there is a relationship between or not at first you will collect the data and after that you will use the formula covariance but there is a question question is for every condition our previous formula cannot be uh, eligible why suppose you are finding now if we consider the relation between intelligence and beauty you know that every beauty girl beauty nest means a smart girl or a beautiful girl it is not necessary she will be also intelligent or also this is also not necessary a, a smart guy he will be also beautiful it is not or a smart it is not necessary condition so if we have given rank if we have given rank for the individual in two characteristic a and b respectively then we can find the relationship between them okay actually when the scientist <coughs> they discovered the formula okay and after then there is a some other scientists they also asked you know, if you have such type of formula then after then such type of condition then after then how will you solve it so there was a another scientist his name was Superman he find the if you have such type of problem then how will you find the relationship between uh, two data the okay so he has given you the this formula p is equal to 1 minus sigma i is equal to 1 to n d i square upon 2 n sigma x whole square is equal to 1 minus 6 into this is 6 6 into i is equal to 1 to n d i whole square upon n into n square minus 1 where sigma of di is equal to sigma xi minus yi okay the subtraction between all the points that is the d d means the subtraction between difference between all the points that is d so you will use this formula by the help of this formula you can find also whether there is a such type of problem okay and you have to find the relationship between two data so the first example i have given you two best example the first example is the rank of 16 girls in Miss Universe and Miss India are given in this order. Find the correlation and coefficient. <coughs> Whether there is a correlation or coefficient or not. You know that if the judge, judge A, they have given uh, something uh, different uh, rank and judge B, they have given uh, something different rank. Judge C, they have given different rank and there are more than 10 judges and they have given different 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 order okay and they have given someone has given me rank first someone has given me rank 9 someone has given me rank 10 in this condition you know that i will never satisfy someone someone is giving me rank 1 someone is giving me rank 10 how can possible so maybe some judges are fair some judges are unfair in this condition we will use this concept a superman method to find which one is the best today we will explain you Whenever you have such type of problem, then how to find how to find a solution? So there are total number of 16 girls. They have got rank in Miss India and Miss Universe. 
okay you know that it is not necessary if someone has got rank 5 or rank 7 in miss universe then also he will uh, he she will get rank 7 in miss india this is not necessary condition okay uh, the rank these are uh, different different according to the environment and conditions okay so the rank of miss india the first girl she has won and also she has rank 1 in miss universe okay and another girl she has rank 2 and uh, but she has rank 10 in miss universe <coughs> it can possible and third girl she has 3 3 then fourth girl she has 4 4 then fifth girl she has 5 5 Sixth girl she has six seven and seventh girl she has seven two. Eighth girl she has eight six and ninth girl she has nine eight and tenth girl she has ten eleven and eleventh girl she has eleven fifteen and twelfth girl she has twelve and nine and thirteenth girl girl she has thirteen and fourteen. Fourteenth girl she has fourteen and twelve. Fifteenth girl she has fifteen and sixteen and sixteenth girl she has sixteen and thirteen. Okay. At first, we will find the difference between the data. D is equal to x minus y. One minus one is equal to zero. Two minus ten is equal to minus eight. Three minus three is equal to zero. Four minus four is equal to zero. Five minus five is equal to zero. My request is to open a book. Whatever we are teaching, you must try. Okay, these are very important lecture. And six minus seven is equal to minus one. Seven minus two is equal to five. Eight minus six is equal to two. Nine minus eight is equal to one. Ten minus eleven is equal to minus one. Eleven minus fifteen is equal to minus four. 12 minus 9 is equal to 3. 13 minus 14 is equal to minus 1. 14 minus 12 is equal to 2. 15 minus 16 is equal to minus 1. 16 minus 13 is equal to 3. These are the subtraction between two variables. After that, we have written d square. D square means 0 square is equal to 0. 8 is minus 8 whole square is equal to 64. Minus 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 2 minus is equal to plus. 0 square is equal to 0. 0 square is equal to 0. 0 square is equal to 0. Minus 1 whole square is equal to 1. 5 square is equal to 25. 2 square is equal to 4. 1 square is equal to 1. Minus 1 whole square is 1. 1 minus 1 whole square is 1. 1 square is equal to 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 1. 1 square
uh, among these uh, different different candidate. Okay. So in this condition, we will check uh, if there is a judge is fair or unfair. We will check. Okay. So the first is A is equal to one for to the first candidate. Candidate he has given rank one, and but he has given rank three. Judge B he has given rank three. Judge C he, he, he has given rank C. And for the second candidate six five four, third candidate five eight nine, fourth candidate ten four eight, fifth candidate three seven one. Sixth candidate two ten two and seventh candidate four two three and eighth candidate nine one ten and ninth candidate seven six five and tenth candidate eight nine seven. These are the data. The different different panel they have given given different different uh, rank among different different student. Okay. Sometimes you know that the interview panel uh, they have different ideology. They have different uh, philosophy. According to their philosophy, they have given you rank, okay. But according to the uh, according to the our uh, uh, faith environment, so maybe it is uh, they have given the wrong uh, wrong rank to the student. So we are finding uh, who uh, among these three panel who uh, who are the best panel, okay. So after that we have written written rank A, rank A, rank B, rank C. So we have written the data. This one six five ten three two four nine seven eight. Same data we have written here, and same data this we have written here three five eight four seven ten two one six nine, and same data we have written here six four nine eight one two three ten five seven. Okay. After then our target subtraction between the variable. Okay. So at first d one is equal to x minus y. X minus y means this and this. So one minus three is equal to minus two. Six minus five is equal to one. Five minus eight is equal to minus three. Ten minus four is equal to six. And three minus seven is equal to minus four. Two minus ten is equal to minus eight. Four minus two is equal to two. Nine minus one is equal to eight. Seven minus six is equal to one. Eight minus nine is equal to minus one. After that, we have find d two is equal to x minus z. Means this and this we have to subtract. One minus six is equal to minus five. Six minus four is equal to two. And five minus nine is equal to minus four. Ten minus eight is equal to two. Three minus one is equal to two. Two minus two is equal to zero. Four minus three is equal to one. Nine minus ten uh, is equal to uh, minus one. Seven minus uh, five. Uh, seven minus five is equal to two. And eight minus seven is equal to one. After that, we have subtracted. D three is equal to y minus z. Means subtraction between two variables. Three minus six is equal to minus three. Five minus four is equal to one. Eight minus nine is equal to minus one. Four minus eight is equal to minus four. Seven minus one is equal to six. Ten minus two is equal to eight. Two minus three is equal to minus one. One minus ten is equal to minus nine. Six minus five is equal to one. And nine minus seven is equal to two. Okay. And after then, d one is square, d two is square, d three is square. Means two square is equal to four. One is square is equal to one. Three is square is equal to nine. Six is square is equal to thirty six. Similarly, you will. Uh, Square all the value. A square is equal to sixty four. Two square is equal to four. A square is equal to sixty four. One square is equal to one. And minus one whole square is equal to minus minus into plus. That is one. Similarly, for this five five hundred twenty five two to the four 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 to the sixty two to the four two two to the four zero to zero. Okay, zero whole square is equal to zero. One square is equal to one. Minus one whole square is equal to one. Two square is equal to four. And one square is equal to one. Similarly, for D three. This is three minus three whole square is equal to nine. One square is equal to one. Minus one whole square is equal to one. Minus four whole square is equal to sixteen. Six six square is equal to thirty six. Eight square is equal to sixty four. Minus one whole square is equal to one. Minus nine whole square is equal to eighty one. One square is equal to one. And two square is equal to four. Okay, very very simple. At first we will add all the value. This is sigma d one means we have to add all the value. That is zero. Sigma d two square that is also zero. Sigma d three square is equal to zero means. Addition of all the value. Okay. Similarly, addition of all the value here that is two hundred. Addition of all value that is sixty, and addition of all value that is two hundred four. Now we will use this formula between okay p x y relationship between x and y. One minus six sigma d one square upon n into n minus n n n square minus one. Now you have to put one minus six into d one square d one square is equal to D1 square is equal to 200. 200 upon 10 into 99. Okay, 10 into 99 means 10. N is equal to 10, and uh, 10 square is equal to 100 minus 1 is equal to 99. Okay, then it is minus 7 upon 30. Okay, negative means this x and y. 
these these two panels they are unfair whenever you are getting neg negative value it means that they are unfair they have done something wrong now p x is at 1 minus 6 into sigma d2 square upon n into n square minus 1 same you have to put the data here 60 <coughs> 6 into 60 upon same value and you will get 7 upon 11 similarly p y z is equal to 1 minus 6 into sigma d3 ka whole square upon n into n square minus 1 is equal to 1 minus d3 whole square is equal to 1 4 put the value here you will get minus 14 and upon 165 again this value is negative it means that these just are unfair they have done something wrong okay but you can see that p x z is equal to this is 7 upon 11 so among these three this is the max value you will select the max value which one is the max max is the 7 upon 11 okay i am not here maybe if this is positive 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 whenever you are getting positive then you will uh, put you will take the maximum value this is the maximum value so p x z is the max so this is the fair judgment between x and z so this is the fair judgment between x and z x and z means x and z a fair judgment between this and this it means that this just the this just he is he has done something wrong okay this this panel he has done something wrong this just he has done something wrong so by the help of this superman method we can find the relationship between two data we can also find if there someone has done unfair or fair okay this is the best solution to get the solution okay so i think that you understand okay we are just providing our best uh, for your success okay thank you so much for my request also after this uh, we will uh, also explain the part number two rank of correlation part number two you must also watch it if if you have some judge has given the same same rank then what what after that what will you do in this condition if many judge it can possible you know that here suppose it can possible this is one 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 okay in this condition what will happen if if many judges they have given same value in this condition how will you solve such type of problem okay so we will discuss in the next lecture okay thank you so much